Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Luke chapter 18 verses 42 and 43. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you thanks for another day, for another morning for another moment of life that you have preserved unto us and for us. And dear Lord, I even pray this morning and thank you for those who don't even acknowledge that you are the one that sustain our lives, that you are the one that are, are the, um, the giver of life and the one that helps and give all the blessings that we need in this life. We thank you this morning for being a faithful God. I thank you this morning for never leaving us nor forsaking us. I thank you this morning specifically for the knowledge of who you are. For you saw it fit that we were predestinated to know the one true God through and by you Lord Jesus Christ. And because you have done this for us, dear Lord, I just pray that you keep us faithful. We are unable to do it of our own selves. So I pray that you reign in us, use us as instruments of righteousness. I pray that your Holy Spirit is the one that in us accomplish all those things that are pleasing unto you. Because we dedicate our lives to you. All those who hear this this morning, I just want to pray that we do dedicate our lives to you, offering up ourselves as a living sacrifice, as your word said. And for all those things that we do, knowingly or unknowingly, I pray for forgiveness for those things that are not pleasing unto you, dear Lord. And I pray that you keep us holy from doing these anymore. I pray that you continue to lead us in the path of righteousness, that na narrow path, and that you help us to walk circumspectly in this world, knowing that we are just sojourners. We're just passing through. We look for our kingdom to come and to be with you for eternity. And as always, that your word, dear Lord, edifies us each and every day. As spiritual food to our inner man, let us be built up and be strengthened because we are in the day of battle. And we pray that we are persevering. And that we overcome the enemy as you have taught us. Dear Lord, help us also in our tests and trials as we ask each and every morning. That we do not faint, nor fail, nor give up. But as your word said, we, should, we ought to pray and not to faint. So I pray that you allow us to do this. And that you guide us and lead us by your Holy Spirit to do this thing. I pray also for our young ones, the children that they are grown up in the way and knowledge of who you are. So when they are of age, they shall not neglect nor reject you. Lead us, as we always pray, in spirit and in truth in your word, that we may be of one mind in you, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Cool. Alright, so Luke chapter 18, verses 42 and 43 says, And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith hath saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. Amen. All right, this morning, what stuck out to me this morning when I was reading this chapter was faith, right? Having faith, right? And, um... One other thing, also not being self-righteous, but more so faith, right? He started off and gave us that um, that example. Right? Well, he started off first and foremost, Jesus said, um, that men ought to pray and not to faint, right? Again, we show, we show faith in, um, in that we, we know that the Lord our God is the only one that can answer prayers let's say that the only one that can do anything in our lives we're not able to do it of ourselves hence why we pray because we look to a higher power we look to one that 
we believe can do all things right and this just reminded me this morning because um yes as believers you always remember you should have faith you should have faith you should have faith but this is a good reminder also just showing you why we ought to pray and not to faint and it shows you uh, that example of that um widow that went and petitioned the um was it the judge right and she came out and said uh, yeah there was a judge in a city so he was giving a parable right <coughs> and she didn't go once or twice she just repeatedly bombarded him with um the requests for her for her to be avenged right and the unrighteous judge this was just a normal judge he he hearkened to her because he was like wait well lest this woman come and weary me with her repeated um continual coming me let me just let me just listen to her and do what she wants right and god was showing you that if i if a normal little judge a little unrighteous judge can make this decision wouldn't our heavenly father hear our petitions right when we come to him day and night right <clears throat> so again from that i just gathered the faith because that person that widow would have believed that that judge that judge was able to avenge her and that's why she repeatedly went and she went and she went because she believed that that higher power was able to avenge her she wasn't able to do it of herself so she would have just done it and she believed that the judge would have acted in her favor right god almighty is the true judge he is the judge of all not just the ones that believe in him but of all things right so and again this is just a reminder as i'm speaking i'm reminded myself right but um as as we always want we want to edify each other um as much as the lord has given me and as much as he allows me i will give out also back to everyone right and then um yeah the other example what i was saying here um where is it was the suffering the little children to come unto them because even ch little children can have faith also right and it's always a blessing to see the little ones um I think my mother sent a, a, a video yesterday with a little girl doing a, a spoken word piece. And the girl looked like she was about nine years old. And she done a proper spoken word piece um, glorifying God. And it's just always good. I always like seeing the children and that. Um, just just very, very um, committed and into serving the Lord from that age. That's very good to see. Right? <clears throat> and again it just shows you again it, the faith again again with the rich ruler was it the rich ruler yeah the rich ruler and then he put his faith in his earthly possession and we say that just based on the example we don't know what he went off and did but we're just going off the example because he was sorrowful when the Lord told him to sell all that he had, give to the poor and follow him, right? He didn't, he didn't, he, he wasn't happy. He, would, he didn't rejoice and we can see why. I'm not here being hypocritical. We can see why because obviously he would have. It would have been hard and that's why the Lord always should, says don't put your, your trust in riches. We see the example of faith. Abraham had loads of riches, but he still put his faith in the Lord God Almighty, knowing that he couldn't have done anything of himself. He couldn't have given himself a child with all the riches he had, but he knew that God was able to do all things. Right? And then just lastly, with the example that we just read with the, the blind man, when he heard that Jesus was passing by, he cried out. And he never cried out once. I think he cried out maybe twice, well, as much as the scripture said here. Right? And the Lord stopped and was attentive to him and said what you want me i mean what <laughs> what do you what would you have me do to you and he said he wants to receive his sight and jesus said is your faith 
that has made have saved thee right so again that's why i want to just remind us this morning that we ought to have faith we ought to pray and not to faint right so even this morning we pray lord jesus christ that you keep us faithful in this thing all right so i'll leave it at that this morning any questions anything that you want to send in you can comment in the comment section or you can send them into the word at each each one dot org and as much as the lord has led me taught me i kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow